Hello everyone, I'm Cloud and welcome to Anime Nomi. Today, continuing with the One Piece videos here on the channel, we'll talk about the future, we'll talk about the straw hats that have everything to reach the level of a Yonku, or rather, can enter the list of the most powerful pirates of all seas and thus greatly increase the power of the crew. But before we go on with the video, I'm counting on you to leave your like on this video today and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here to join our crew. Now let's go to the video. Guys, right now we are experiencing a battle against the most powerful, two emperors are facing the straw hat pirates and their allies in a battle for Wano, and thus, everyone needs to show the most of their powers, in addition to also gain new powers during the confrontation itself. It turns out that it's obvious that at some point the evolution of the straw hats must reach the point where their power compares with one of the emperors of the sea, not only because we're talking about the fellows of the future king of pirates, but also that something that everyone they wish to have power to protect those who are by their side. We saw how they did everything to get stronger two years ago, after being defeated by the past Sophista and ended up finding the real Kuma who sent them to distant places. We saw that Zoro himself went over his own feelings, this to ask and even beg to be trained by Myhawk, who was someone he considered an enemy, not only because he was a pirate but because he was the greatest swordsman of the world, the one that Zoro needs one day to overcome. He told Myhawk that he would do whatever he needed to to get stronger, something that went beyond defeating him, beyond overcoming the strongest swordsman, and for the first time he recognized that he couldn't beat the swordsman. Myhawk himself instantly recognized that Zoro, he seemed to have found something that went far beyond his ambition. And we know that this training really happened because my hawk believed that when someone as stubborn as Zoro swallowed his own pride to ask a rival for help, it was surely because of someone else, besides his dream of fulfilling his promise to Kuina. Zoro wanted with the same strength to protect the family he formed at sea, this shortly after risking his life after receiving all the damage Luffy had taken thanks to Kuma's powers after the Battle of Thriller Bark. Even so we saw that the powers that Zoro and his companions achieved were great even by the standards of the Grand Line, but even between that place, the powers in the second part, in the place called the New World, in that place conquered by the Yonkis, the power levels were completely different. Even so, the Straw Hats still have to evolve, even more when they have come across not only the powers of the Emperors themselves, but also the strength of their crewmates, such as the Sweet Generals, and we are currently seeing more closely a gigantic battle against the Pirates of the Beasts, where some Mujiwaras are having difficult confrontations against the Tobarapas, who are not the highest power within the group, who still possess the powers of the great stars. In short, there are still many levels of powers that some of Luffy's companions need to go through in order to reach the power they seek so much, and we'll see this happening during their adventures across the seas. And what we hope, actually we are to see in the future, is some of Luffy's companions reaching a level of power that is unimaginable, a power level close to that of a Yonku, something that was done by pirates who in the past came to become great legends when it came to their powers. We can think of some of the crew of Newgate and Roger who managed managed to achieve a power that turned them into legends. Odin in the past faced Kaido, younger, but already one of the greatest pirates of his generation. In addition, we not only witnessed the power of Silver's Rayleigh, who easily dealt with Admiral Kazaro, but was also regarded by Garp, who became one of the greatest and most powerful heroes of all time, as a past legend who did not should be faced if it really were possible to avoid a confrontation. But now we are in the new generation, with pirates considered the worst generation, and among them, who will really manage to reach the power level of a young in the distant future where they are close to fulfilling their dreams. Obviously starting with Zoro, who has a dream almost as big as Luffy's, and who only depends on his efforts to improve himself. After all he seeks to fulfill his dream of becoming the greatest swordsman in the world and thus fulfill his promise with Kuina. And so he will really have to one day be the one to defeat Dracul Myhawk, who is the greatest swordsman today, and who was also the one who became responsible for Zoro's biggest evolution so far, the events of the time skip where he told the Zoro what the swordsman needed to do. And it's worth remembering that my hawk started his journey as a swordsman during Roger's time. Even before the beginning of the great era of pirates, he was still very young and couldn't find swordsmen of the same level as him. And now we know who he became rival of my hawk. Zoro wants to face the one who considers red-haired, a Yonku, his biggest rival. So basically Zoro wants to overcome the swordsmanship of the pirate who motivated Luffy to become a pirate, which already indicates the level he wants to reach, and also indicates that he should definitely be able to maximize all his power not only with his Santoryu, but also his control of hockey. We also hope that in the future Vinsmoke will show a great evolution as Zoro demonstrated in the battle against Kaido, something that goes beyond the battle suit, and we've already started to see this happening with him facing Queen, who has a connection with his father thanks to your past research group. Furthermore, we expect to see Mr. Prince fighting alongside Luffy and Zoro at a frightening level of power in the future as he always was during the beginning of the crew, and now that he is facing a all-star, Queen has even now demonstrated her hybrid 
form and will also demonstrate her powers as a cyborg, making Vinsmoke have to show even more his power, but what we expect is his great strength in the future, and obviously we can't stop talking about the captain of the straw hats, after all he doesn't want to have the power of a Yonku, he wants to go far beyond the powers that the Yonkas have. After all, Luffy's goal is to accomplish something that the emperors also try to accomplish, basically what he seeks is to overcome the powers of the Yonkas and defeat them to finally find the One Piece and become the King of Pirates, a feat that was only accomplished by a single pirate captain in all of history. And now we've seen one of Luffy's greatest evolutions that will greatly help his future power once he fully masters the technique, the advanced use of Hashika Haki, the Conqueror's Haki, where he now uses the power to issue his attacks, just like the King of Pirates did. So we wait for him to master this technique as much as possible, which was possibly one of the biggest points for Roger to have the great power he possessed. We also expect a lot about Jinbi's powers for the future, after all at that moment he won a gigantic battle against Tuzhu, a Tobarapo, who wants to become a big star in Kaido's crew, and believe he already has the power to do so. Not only that, as Who's Who was once one of the greatest powers alongside Sekai Sifu, mastering all the techniques of Cypher Pole, and also has the power of an ancestral Akuma no Mi, and in the end, we saw how Jinbi managed not only to face him, but beat him with a single hugely destructive blow. Besides Who's Who said that to deal with his attacks the common use of Busa Shoko Haki would not be enough, and even winning, I believe that Jinbi will want to increase his use of Haki, after all as he demonstrated in battle, he is fighting to make Luffy the king of pirates. And not just the crewmates, we expect some pirate allies and straw hat rivals, like Kid and Law for example who are big names of the new generation, just like Luffy himself, and who are about to bring a rivalry possibly similar to from Roger and Edward Newgate, where pirates with a frightening level of power clashed. Not only that, as we will one day have the next generation of emperors in addition to the king of pirates, a supernova has now become an emperor teach who once stood alongside Newgate and has now become one of the most feared pirates of all time with your power powers, the two devil fruit that many consider the most powerful of all. Going further, we also have powers like Marco, who is currently fighting as an ally of the Straw Hat, and who is expected in the future to return to being a great pirate, joining a crew, or making up Edward's former crew. Newgate is reborn as a phoenix once more for a new battle of reckoning, so he could even become a future Yonko. Everyone expects a lot from the new generation, and especially from the Straw Hat, where a Yonko Shanks and Rayleigh himself that I mentioned at the beginning of the video hope that they will become the greatest pirates of this generation. After all, everyone is seeing Luffy as the one who inherited the will and is very similar to the current king of pirates, Godi Roger, the pirate who dominated all the seas and is recognized to this day as one of the most powerful pirates of all time. But as I mentioned earlier, it may actually be that Luffy doesn't become a Yonko for Sekai Sifu. We know that for the world he is already considered the fifth Yonko for his powers and for his deeds. But for the world nobles he has not yet received this title. After all, they are the ones who choose the Yonkas, the four pirates who are the greatest adversaries of the Celestial Dragons. And Luffy has no interest in being among the four emperors, he wants a unique title, the title of the King of Pirates, so the Straw Hat doesn't mind being an emperor. In fact, for most of the series he didn't even know who the so-called Yonkas were, he just knew about Shanks. But comment below what do you think about the powers of the Mujiwaras, which ones will really become Yonko level, and which pirates should be the emperors in the next generation. Don't forget to leave your likes in the video to help the channel, and also subscribe if you're still new here, the channel is new and needs your help. Thank you so much for watching our video so far, your support is very important, see you in the next video, bye.